Real quick in English. Yes, baby. What, what, what did you think of uh, Canelo's dominant performance? It, exactly what you just said. It was a dominant performance. He showed once again that he is a force to be reckoned with at 168. And obviously, Gennady has the ability to assimilate that kind of punishment. He took it all, took it all the way to the distance. And my respects to both fighters. Does you know? I, you heard kind of what uh, people are saying on Twitter. I mean. Is it kind of unfair to, to say that it wasn't, you know, the spectacular performance? I mean, people were expecting a knockout, but, you know, Gennady came in better. You know, Canelo was, was dealing with a better Gennady Golovkin than, you know. We, we had this conversation in Saudi. Right. Those that don't know, Gennady Golovkin had a 27 streak of knockout wins. That's a force to be reckoned with at 106. That doesn't go out with age. So he could be 45. He could be 50. Let's ask Bernard Hopper. Let's ask George Foreman. So that's some serious power to be dealing with. So let's be fair. Just because he took a chance and he went up to 75, there's nothing wrong with that. Lady Luck favors the bold. And Canelo is a bold man. He actually took Bivol and Gennady with a broken left hand. And he took both to the distance. So let's be fair. What is maybe for you the, the juicier matchup for Canelo next? The Bivol rematch or maybe going to the PBC side with, you know, Jermel and, and David Benavides. Well, what's like the, the attention grabbing one, do, do you think? I think it'd be interesting, again, seeing two Mexicans with Benavides, uh, especially because Benavides is very tall. He's been there before, he's faced those fighters. But knowing him, he wants to take that 175 just for pride alone. And last one, I mean, you know, we're, we're saying Bivol rematch, but he might, you know, he, he has a great fight against uh, Zurdo Ramirez. What, what do you think about that fight and, uh, you know, who, who comes out on top there? That would be an interesting fight too. Again, a tall, lanky Mexican fighter he was the first one to ever take, first Mexican to take a win at or a championship at 168. So this would be an interesting matchup. Let's not forget that Surdo is not 168 anymore. Now he's 175. So is he willing to take that fight to Mexicans at 175? All I can say is if that does happen, prepare. That is fireworks of the wazoo. For sure. Claudia, thank you so much for your time. Tell the fans that they can follow you. You can follow me at Claudia Trejos, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I'm there. I answer. And thank you for helping us and just making this community grow and help you because you are badass and he's got everything. He's everywhere. Thank you. Thank you so much, love. Appreciate you.